a happy morning to everyone this is afrin ibrahim a biotech student by profession and an environmentalist by passion so now i'm going to talk about a topic which is rare rare not because it's unspoken but it's too much spoken but too little acted upon before i dive deep into my speech i would like to ask you some questions number 1 when was the last time you planted a sapling Number two, when was the last time that you opened a plastic package? If the answer for the first question is in terms of um, days or months or years, and the answer for the second question is in terms of minutes or hours, which means we are in red alert. While I was working in an NGO, people would used to term us as environmentalists, like it was a separate sect of people who are meant to care for the earth, but think about it at the end of the day every environmentalist is a humanist because when we care for the earth we care for our own future kin we could be happy we could abide by the rules of indian constitution make money make the necessary things to be happy and prove that we are a good citizen to the country okay but we are the only generation we, who could make action to change the course of planet earth so we have to make stringent measures to give the planet to give the future generation what we actually received from the past generation in a better way or at least in the same way so we're actually living through the sixth mass extinction of the earth and this time this is hastened by human activity which means that according to professor wilson we are losing 30000 species per year which means approximately we are losing 3 species per hour by the time i leave this campus we would have already lost 3 species from planet earth if this doesn't count as a red sign i don't know what would we all love chennai like everyone are chennaites chennaites right we all love chennai big buildings fancy cars huge roads malls theaters we all love chennai chennai is a city that everyone would look up to when coming to businesses lifestyle etc but what is the condition what is the plea of mother nature right here when was the last time we faced a worst flood last month last year the previous year and the year before that marking 2014 being the first year in the history of chennai in the 137th year history of chennai to have worst flood to be faced and ever since that flood has become a norm for every slightest downpour possible right well this being one phase of chennai the other side while we fa- while we actually received the highest amount of rainfall in the entire of south india one of the highest amount of rainfall in the entire of south india yet we are the one who faced day zero which means that all the four reservoirs which were giving water to chennai dried up on 19th june 2019 we actually lost a woman a woman lost her life due to water conflict on 15th june 2019 and yet we drink soft drinks we go to theme parks in summer we visit all the places which use tons and gallons of water every single day before a few years okay i'm not talking about this decade before a few years all the impending danger all the threatening news of global warming climate change everything were seemingly far away like a town or country being affected by climate crisis was far away be it ozone hole over antarctica brazilian forest fires japan tsunamis uh, australian barrier reef loss everything seemed far away right but now all the unimaginable things are impending to us all the unimaginable things are getting a place in the headlines new delhi hit the headlines with declaring official holidays for air pollution in tutukudi the sterilite industry actually broke innumerable laws of environmental acts and protection laws and things like that but still continue to run even after 13 people were killed 
This is actually a red flag, right? After knowing all these things, there's just one question in my mind. One question. Why do we continue to do all these even if we know that we are responsible for this unreliable condition of our planet Earth? Because humanity is clueless on either what to do it or how to do it or we either think that what could one person do to change the course of planet Earth? If I'm a minimalist, if I'm a vegan, if I cut down on plastic waste, what would happen? What effect would it have in changing the climate crisis? Remember, every single change you do, every single change has an impact, has a potential impact in changing the course of Earth, in making the Earth cleaner and greener. Now, we've come to a conclusion that actually environment is affected by us, like we are affecting the environment. Now, what we do? I have just five points, okay? Point number one, alternative energy resource. Oof. Everyone, every single person is telling us to switch our energy resource, right? But why? If burning fossil fuels has the potential to question our own future, then why do we continue to use it? We have innumerable option in using alternative energy resources, especially now India is becoming one of the country to provide subsidy for solar panels, on-grid solar panels. And also in rural areas nowadays, biogas is being on the rise. Biogas is on the rise. Then we also have electric motors, electric vehicles on the rise. So this is the right time to switch our resources. Number two, zero waste lifestyle. Okay, don't panic. Now everyone close your eyes. Everyone here close your eyes. And now visualize your home. Now walk through it and just imagine your refrigerator, open it. That's where the problem begins. Every product, every single product we use is packaged in plastic in one way or other, right? And where do we actually throw it? In the garbage. It seems too difficult to cut out on these, right? But let's all try from today, let's all try to declutter all our wastes. Declutter everything that's unnecessary and make our planet greener. Number three ecosystem that is eco-based infrastructure infrastructure roads buildings canals power plants bridges these are the face of the nation it's not just about building more it's the entire face of a nation so it should be sustainable right sustainable eco-friendly buildings eco-friendly Infrastructure is not only good for the planet, it's also good for the investor's profit margin. When we come to the infrastructure, uh, we have finished the infrastructure, when we come to the eco-based products, we have to make changes because consumerism plays a vital role. Demand demands supply, right? While we choose organic food, we get organic food while we choose sustainable amount of packaging in a food and while we, we demand that products that comes to supply, right? And this brings me to the fourth point, zero carbon emission lifestyle. Everyone would have talked about it, but even if India has made hefty promises in COP26 this year, that's last month, we are actually very far this is unimaginable to have a zero carbon emission lifestyle, right? But if we make changes, we switch to alternative energy resources, this is actually possible. But let me tell you one thing, we're unintentionally living through the biggest carbon crash ever recorded. No wars, no recessions, no previous pandemics has able to bring down such an impact to the emission of carbon dioxide like we have in this COVID year, we have brought down the carbon emission among 6 8%. And according to the Energy Agency or International Energy Agency, we have also bought the energy consumption down by 6%, which is unimaginable, right? But one thing sorrows me is that we as human beings needed a disease, a pandemic lockdown to reduce our carbon footprints. But why? 
let's make this our red flag let's make this our focus point to reduce to involuntary reduce all our carbon footprints and make our planet greener again this brings me to the fifth point and my final point awareness which i think i would have bought you to according to professor gail whitman the it seemed almost impossible to believe that the countries when faced with a health emergency would choose humanity over economy but it has happened right which we see in the covid times so it's also possible to make use of our human resources to make use of our economy to make use of our education as students right to bring back our earth on place jai hind tata